No. It's the last thing on earth I want to do. No. It went well because I got lucky. What do you want to hear a story about? No, I'm not going to make one up. I don't make stuff up. That's for comedians and writers and dreamers. I have to tell true stories. Again, I haven't had that. I have a unicorn experience, though. I, well, one that you can tell to us? In fact, <laughs> I see what you did there, though, and it was awkward as hell. Thank you. So, as many of you know, I sometimes spend a bit of time wearing a rhino horn playing either a comedic character named Rondo or something slightly more tragic as, as of late. And I was, I was at an event and a child walked up to me like this. And I figure if you're wearing a red nose and funny shoes and a funny costume and a big horn, they're just going to stare at you that way. And she proceeded to follow me everywhere I went at this event. It was at a festival and everywhere I went. And later on, she had an army of friends with her and they would just stare. I mean, really, just, I mean, just soak this in for a minute. <laughs> Feels really screwed up, doesn't it? A little bit, a little bit. It's, it's uncomfortable. I, I didn't know what to do with it. At a certain point, I'm wondering, well, okay, it's just. <laughs> Hang on, they took that to a different place. <laughs> It wasn't like that. No, it was very, it was very innocent, but it, it just kept happening. And eventually, there's five or six of them. And, I, and finally, okay, I'm done with the show, and I, I, I greet all of them. They're all, oh, yes, yes, yes. And as I'm leaving, thinking I've done a, a nice job being a performer, they all say to each other, oh, the unicorn said goodbye to us. I had a little strut in my step after that, I'm not going to lie. I'm like, the unicorn. That was all. Thank you.